Okay, welcome back. Let us continue. Uh, moonlight spell. Yep. Casting off the fog. I barely even remember what I what these other saves were for. I mean, obviously for some choices, but uh, yeah. Okay. Oh boy. <sighs> what am I doing? For God's sake. <sighs> yeah. That didn't go good well at all. The confession and... Mm, I'm not in my right mind. Something about me was off today. I couldn't control myself. I was saying things I didn't mean. Doing things I didn't intend to. I had never meant to do that. But at this point, I had no choice but to admit my feelings. Yeah. Oh my god, the song is going so hard too. I couldn't pretend I didn't know what they were anymore. How long had I felt this way? A week? A month? Six months? Or maybe a full year? Had they already developed when we started anew? It's... It's a weird and weird process. Yeah. There's like no definitive moment. At first you wonder if you're love, then you think you might be in love, and then you realize you are in love. It's just that's how it works. <sighs> Please be able to fix, mend the situation. No, the when didn't matter. It didn't change the facts. Yeah. I was still attracted to her, regardless of when it had begun. Mm. Michelle seems so very determined about this. I hope that this isn't the trigger that sends Giselle spiraling down towards the uh, self-loathing path, uh, lack of self-worth path, where she thinks she is cursed and she is the witch because she, because of something, and uh, that's how we get to present. I don't know. We'll see. Let's hope for some happiness here. She pushed me away, quite literally. <sighs> I sighed at myself. Why should I be disappointed? She was nothing like me. I was reclusive and unsociable. She was the exact opposite. She was the kind of person who would confidently tell someone how she felt. And she had done exactly that. Said I was like a brother. Oh. <laughs> the misunderstanding train is coming. No. But I hadn't listened. As a matter of fact, could I have been more presumptuous? 
I don't deserve to love anyone. It's better this way. I... Master! Oh, okay, okay. Yeah? Well, uh, I... I told you to go back to your room. Master, I need you to listen to me. Okay? Uh, oh, what? Uh, about, uh, um... Uh, about what just happened. Th that doesn't count. You can't count any of that. Okay, this is huge. She actually came back on her own. This is actually huge, okay? I can, I can see something positive going on here. <clears throat> Obviously, there's... We still need to clear the entire hurdle of the misunderstanding, but... uh. Please. Oh. Also, let me just... Okay. Just wondering if there was any, but no. Oh. That I said I loved you and that I shoved you. They don't count. Oh. Right. I was planning to forget that anyway. No, Giselle, a bit more. We need a bit more, please. So, don't worry. No, that's not what I mean. What I'm saying is that it's not something I should have said on a whim. Just because the moonlight was kind of pretty tonight. It wasn't supposed to be so casual. Okay, this is huge. This is huge. Okay, Giselle. The, the way I said it doesn't get across at all how much I really care about you. I should have been... It should have been something with more impact, rather. Oh, sorry for the mic. Me looking you straight into your eyes. My heart jumping around like it's on fire. That's how I should have said it. What? What? What are you? This is huge. This is actually huge. Okay, let's go. I'm saying, uh, I want you to give me one more chance to do it right. G Giselle. I, I, um, I, 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 calm yourself. I, I am calm. In no sense of the word are you calm. Fine, then I'm not calm, but I am clear-headed. I mean every last word. L listen, listen very carefully. I, 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 I love you. I love you so much, I feel like my heart is going to explode. Uh, uh, uh. What? Uh, 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 uh. You mean... Like family? Like a brother, right? Romantic love! Romantic! Oh. Uh, what? I, I wasn't... I wasn't upset back there. No, I was elated. What? My... My mind couldn't keep up with what it was hearing. Half out of breath where she stood. Giselle was frantically insisting that she loved me. Was I dreaming? Um, um, 
Uh, uh, master? How... How do you... I would like to hear... How you feel about me? Assuming I... I interpreted that correctly. You were going in for a kiss back there, right? Right? So I can take that as your answer. Uh, uh, Giselle looked at looked up at me with bleary eyes. She she had feelings for me. It was a miracle. I could I could hardly breathe. It felt like someone had stuck their hand in my chest and was squeezing my heart. I just had to say yes, and a smile would spread across her face. Come on, please, please, don't, don't, don't choke this. I could bring her joy, and all it would take was a single word. I had no reason to say no. My happiness was standing right there, in front of me. What more could I ask for? All I had to do was reach out and claim it for myself. Please, no interruption from Morgana or anyone else, please. I had tried to do exactly that in the chapel, and I could do it again. I... I... I loved her. I was a twisted man, cast out of the other world and left with nothing. I had no way to make her happy. But still, I... Don't tell me you've forgotten what you are. Tell me! I... There was no moonlight to give me that nudge. No! Michelle, no! Do not feel that way about you. even no witch whispering no <laughs> what i got confused for a moment <sighs> this is going to be heartbreaking no <laughs> I apologize for the misunderstanding that seems to have caused. <coughs> All the color drained from her like a flower wilting before my eyes. A heavy sigh spilled from her lips. Her jade eyes swayed lifelessly back and forth. Fuck, fuck, fuck this game. I hadn't thought mere love could possibly have such weight. Mere love, oof. But she looked as though I had just told her. She was to be executed. I... I see. I'm sorry. 
Oh. I let it get to my head. <laughs> Sorry for making such a racket. Maybe that was nervous laughter. I don't know. Really? God, what was I thinking? I, I get way ahead of myself there. Her fox energy hurt to watch. Yeah. I had hurt her. And this was the result. You wanted to protect yourself, even if it meant hurting her. But look where that got you. You would have been better off just going with it. Because when she learned the truth, she would have pushed you away anyway. Ah, uh, the self-doubt within him. Maybe the witch's whisperings, but it's in white text, so not sure. I'm sorry. I'll be going now. Sorry for marching in on you like that. She made her way into the shadows toward the door. There, you did it. You preserved your peace. I got the feeling she would never again turn back. Your mistake was ever getting close to anyone. What I had always wanted was right there in front of me. And I was so close to obtaining it. And you pushed her away. I actually did love her. She would never love the real you. No, she couldn't. Oh, a flashing bit. Question mark, question mark, question mark. We flip inside. Are we introspecting or is this actually Morgana? Uh, or maybe his own curse manifesting into a physical entity. Mm. You're disgusting. I'm going to use a male voice for now, but I'll change it if it's Morgana. Fuck though. No, I mean, yeah. yeah that's on par. For the course, for the game, but fuck me. I was so hopeful. I mean, it, I was 50 50, but I was so hopeful. 50% is a lot for this game to be hopeful for happiness. <sighs> fuck. I can't believe you actually had the gall to fall for me. Oh, yay! Uh, no. I was thinking, is this a twisted version of what he thinks Giselle would be, or is this uh, this is an evil version of himself, as if talking to Giselle or towards Giselle, or if this is Morgana, pretending that uh. Pretending to be Giselle or something. Actually had the gall to fall for me. Good night, master. Mm, she was still in the room, so... This could be what she thinks. Uh, he thinks she would be saying. Or what he is hallucinating her saying. Or the other way around. She was leaving. I wanted her here. And she was leaving. I simply had to acknowledge my feelings. 
and she would come back. Was I really content to let her go? In my weakness, I mistreated her. I hurt her. I let her go, and I was about to lose her. Even though she said she loved me, and I felt the same way. Uh, 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 um, w wait, please don't go. Uh, uh. Her voice is shaking like a scared child's. What are you hoping to tell her like that? I... I... She was different. She was probably... No. She was absolute. She absolutely was nothing like anyone in my past. Yeah? Please, please? She won't be any different. Please win over your inner demons, please. I decided I would try just one more time. I... Please don't let it be too late. Please let her... Giselle's heart be there still, ready to accept. I... To believe in myself. And to believe in someone else. I... Lied. Giselle, from the bottom of my heart, I... <laughs> You'll regret this. No, I won't. Let's go, please, 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 please. I sincerely love you. Oh my god, he actually managed to say it. He actually managed to say it. That's... That's insane, he actually did it. He beat his inner demons. He beat his inner fears and his fearfulness, his uncertainties and worries. Okay, please, Giselle, don't let it be too late. Please open your heart once more. Ah! Running, jump into his arms. The fragrance of rose enveloped me, yeah? Her arms, wrapped around my chest, were both imbued with strength. Sorry, I'm actually tearing up here. With strength and shaking like mad. As though the slightest touch might shatter them. said in a quivering, sniveling voice just inches away, inches from my ear. I lacked sufficient control over my mind or body to return her embrace, to run my hands through her hair, or to do anything more than support her weight. I'm I'm sorry. Her only boot. You don't get to play this one off as a joke. I am truly, sincerely sorry. You've given me two different stories. Tell me, which one's the truth? Were you just confused? Or do you actually love me? I, I want to hear you say it again. The, the true face. I, I love you. Again. I, I love you. Without fumbling this time. I love you. As I've said several times now, not, not 
good enough again <laughs> have mercy please i'm about to die of humiliation <laughs> can i <laughs> can i really believe you this time and not going to say you were lying again no i won't then then we both feel the same way about each other Sh shockingly enough what's there to be shocked about i didn't think there was anything likable about me. <laughs> you really have to do something about that pessimism. I'll try. <laughs> I'm, I'm in heaven. <laughs> I'm so happy I could cry. Yeah, no, me too. I definitely cheered up there when he started running towards him. Holy actual tears of happiness. <laughs> you are... You are... All over me. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. When you first said no, everything went black. I wasn't sure what I would do anymore. I had lost all hope. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's honestly a miracle she was able to recover from that by hearing his... Him taking back his words actually insane an actual miracle please don't let there ever be any which whisperings here oh. i really really do feel bad about that but you had a change of heart now you're willing to have me. Uh, yes. And everything I bring with me. That was the idea. Oh, absolutely everything, right? You're pushing that point rather hard. I have a request. Huh? It's something I don't think I could ask you at any time, but now, while we're in the moment. I will do anything so long as it is within my ability. Tell me, what is it? Will you look at my naked body? My naked body. Yeah, this is truly one of the only moments when she can get that off of her chest easily. It's, I mean, it's half for the bonding, but definitely also a good chunk of it is for getting through that PTSD, overriding bad memories with new happy ones. <laughs> what? Yeah, I... That, that's a bombshell for him, but uh, he'll figure it out eventually. What? More specifically, my scars. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. You are going to have to see them eventually mm. in which case 
I would like that to be now. <laughs> yeah, what must be going through your mind? She's actually laying bare her everything for you. For the sake of hopefully making a happy future. A year ago, I had refused to look at her scars. Uh, it wasn't flat out refusal, it was more like, if you don't want to do it, then let's not do it. Mm. I had been certain I wouldn't be able to accept what they represented. Mm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Especially hard because it's something your own blood and flesh father did to her. The abuse my father had subjected her to. If possible, I would have preferred never having to face that. No, you absolutely need to. But I, more than anyone, needed to know it was my responsibility. I had to accept reality, not grimace or avert my eyes. Yeah. I had to face up to what had been done to her. <sighs> okay. I couldn't bring myself to look at her as she hesitantly disrobed. Yeah, give her the privacy of not letting that moment be awkward, but please do pay full attention to her body afterwards. It's really important for her and for you too. <laughs> oh my god, my hands are actually twinkling, like shaking and yeah. Prickling sound, uh, feeling on the, in them. The sound of her clothes rustling made me feel as though I was doing something incredibly improper. As much as I tried to feign calm, I was so tense my joints were practically creaking and my heart felt like it was being stepped on. Oh, I, I feel like I'm made of stone. I, I'm ready. <clears throat> you can turn around. Oh, oh, all right. I, I'll count to ten. She's laughing at me. I feel a whole lot better seeing you so nervous. Yeah, that's actually a big deal for her. Uh, uh, I'm turning around. Okay. Hmm. Oh. I wonder if there there are like huge scars in her back. And obviously we are not seeing them for the sake of privacy. Or if they are not just physically shown here. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> her head was tilted down just enough. To keep me from making out her expression. But she couldn't hide the pink flush spreading across her cheeks. Yeah, it's really embarrassing and really demoralizing and scary for her. It contrasted well against her white, but not excessively pale, skin. As did her jet black hair. Mm, yeah, she is beautiful but it's also very the part of the beauty comes from the 
vulnerability and the feeling feeling of scaredness. Oh. Sorry, it's not anything nicer to look at. No, it's you're beautiful. In what way was this not a pleasant sight? I mean, the scars, of course, if she's referring to them, but I feel like she's partly referring to her own body, which I assume she came to hate after what was done to it. Starting to hate her own body as, in, uh, as a whole. I had never been more entranced by anything in my entire life. Yeah. This is actually probably mind blowing for you. Yeah. It means so much to both of them. She was stunning. I had no measure of comparison that I was certain the same sight of any other woman in the world. Would not have, would not have the same effect on me. Have had the same effect on me. Yeah, definitely. Like even if you bring the quote unquote uh, Miss Universe or whatever in front of you, it's nowhere near this. You have, I mean, obviously she has a slender and beautiful skin, minus the scars, probable scars. I mean, they might as well be just mental scars, but you know. But also, like, she is beautiful in the traditional sense. At least I find her body beautiful. But more than that, or equally at the very least, probably more than that, you have a very, very deep emotional connection. And this moment, in this time especially, enhances her beauty out of, out of any other woman's league by miles yeah I could say as much with confidence despite having never seen another woman nude hypnotized I couldn't take my eyes off the gentle curves of her body hmm Were I more socially inclined, perhaps I could have told her she was pretty, which perhaps would have brought a sheepish, sheepish smile on, to her face. Yeah, I mean a compliment never hurts, especially from the one you love. And though I wanted to. My throat was dry as dust, and all I could manage was to produce, uh, all I could manage to produce were incoherent rasps. Mm. So, uh, mm, minus one for that comment, but uh, it's understandable he's confused. Because I. Uh, uh, you. You're, are, you are not unclean. Not in the slightest. Y you mean it? I do. Even seeing this? Giselle's eyes slit downward 
a trace of fear lurking just beneath the surface. Following her lead, I dropped my gaze to her lower body. Please don't tell me she's branded or something horrible like that. I mean, scars are kind of like branding you. Yeah. And there, I saw her scars. Swollen, red and black gashes. Still not healed after more than a year. Defiled her white flesh. As she had described for me, the lines were arranged to form letters carved into her skin. Fuck, we need to actually end Antonin's life. No, he can't get off that easy. We need to make him suffer and then slowly torture him to death after taking away everything near and dear to him. <sighs> okay. Oh, so that's why she said I would have to see them eventually. My instincts told me these were wounds she would carry for the rest of her life. Mm. I felt nauseous, mm, yeah. Heart broken, yeah. Infuriated, definitely. At the fact that the person who had done this was out of my reach. Yeah, that's the saddest part in it all. It's the most tragic part in it all. At the fact that I could do nothing for her. Mm. What went through my father's mind when he looked at these? What did he gain from giving her these wounds? Why did he have to do this to her? Why my father of all people? Mm. Yeah. Horrible. Horrible fate. Horrible series of events and connections. Giselle was the one with the scars. Giselle was the one in pain. But I felt like someone had shoved a handful of needles into my chest. Yeah. Dozens of thick metal stakes piercing the walls of my heart. Blood streaming through me like a river. If I didn't force myself to face it, I was liable to run. <sighs> what was the right thing to say? What was I supposed to tell her? As hard as I thought, I couldn't come up with an answer. All I came up with was intense frustration. Mm. It killed me that I couldn't take these scars from her. I have an idea, but it's still a horrible idea. But it's something. Uh, I'll save it afterwards. That I couldn't give my father a piece of my mind. You are in no way hideous. No matter what marks are left on your body. Yeah, your soul is beautiful. No matter how defiled or mutilated your body becomes. It, it took all I had to form that single sentence. Thank goodness. I'm so glad to hear that. When I was down in that village, they said it didn't matter 
what they did to me because I was already dirty. Oh my god, that's so much more to that scene. Yeah. Mm. Fuck them. I mean, yeah, fuck them for what they did. Even if they were, their hand was kind of forced or, I mean, it was still a horrible decision by them as a group to ostracize the one outsider, but, and definitely the wrong thing to eventually choose to do. Yeah. I, I don't think I feel any sympathy for them despite their situation. Yeah, no, fuck the village. Fuck the village despite how kind they initially were. That made me think I had reached the point where I was so tainted. Anyone could see it. <coughs> I'm... I'm sorry. Michelle, we need to go on a crusade to the village. Why should you apologize? You were frowning really intensely. He's just experiencing a lot of pain. Sympathizing with you. And that's fine. That's the way it should be. Please take it as a sign of... I know it's that he's being genuine towards you. I thought I might have made you mad. He feels mad at himself for being related to his father and uh, for him earlier yelling and uh, basically driving her out. He feels mad at the world and the fate. No. I am not angry at you. I am angry at my father, the villagers, and myself. Uh, uh. May I touch them? Yeah. You, you may. My hands were trembling, dude, same. But I knew I wouldn't be doing her any favors by hesitating. Yeah, she wants you to do this. As soon as my fingertips brushed her skin, she shuddered. Mm. Mm. Ah. The does it hurt? No. There hasn't been pain in some time. Uh, uh, I could feel her trembling where I touched her. It didn't seem like it was going to subside anytime soon. Soon, she began whimpering softly. Her lips moved as though she was trying to say something, but the best she managed was a few strained gasps. Yeah. Tears had begun welling up in her eyes as well. I... I feel like I'm in heaven. Right now, but, uh, but I also kind of hate myself. Uh, uh, hate yourself? But why? Be because I can't stop shaking. I'm overjoyed to feel your touch, but I can't control my body. Yeah, this had so many layers to door for where it was told that he couldn't touch anyone. I know you're nothing like that, but I... I keep seeing flashes of you being other things in my mind. 
It kills me that my body won't react the way I feel in my heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You want to feel happy and you want to feel good, but your body has a physical adverse reaction because of the PTSD. <sighs> oh, fuck. I'm sorry if my sound voice sounds snivelly. It's due to almost crying or kind of crying. Uh, 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 I was foolish to have ever thought these wounds might have healed. Yeah. Just as scars remained on her body, so too did they remain in her heart. Unlike the physical wounds, though, the ones inside her seemed to still be raw and bleeding. Mm. Hopefully you can help to mend them to at least stop the bleeding, if nothing else, eventually, through genuine connection. <laughs> she just did such a good job of acting normal that I had begun to think she might have gotten past them. Of course not, you blind fool. Uh, uh, you shoved me back there because it brought back those memories. There we go, there we go. Good, 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 Michelle. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm really, truly sorry. Why are you apologizing? I should be the one. <gasps> you, you have any desire to place a curse on him? What? Do you want to curse Antonin? If you so desire, I might be able to make it happen. Cast a curse on him. Perhaps even a fatal one. Uh -huh. I... Ignore the fact that he's my father. I don't consider that man my f family anymore. <sighs> I want you to be honest with me. I mean, I feel like she's gonna say no, but I truly hope she would say yes. Actually giving someone a horrible ending. If, hypothetically, such a thing were possible, would you want to curse him? No, I would not want that. Whoa, that hit me like a truck. Whoa, the chairs are back. I, I don't think I could be that strong of a person. I think I would curse the man. <laughs> Why not? You have every right to take revenge. Yeah. I wonder if her reasoning is to not per perpetuate the cycle of vicious vicious and malicious energy or if there's something else because he is your father Michelle maybe that's her reason I don't know. for what that man did he deserves punishment he inflicted so much pain on you you are still shaking 
more than a year later. And you can just let him get away with it? Out of the goodness of your heart? Hypothetically. If you wanted to curse him, I... I wouldn't do it, even hypothetically. And not out of the goodness of my heart. I'm just a coward. Mm. A coward. If curses were real, and if he were to die by one, then I would never, ever be able to forget. Mm. That's a good answer. That's an amazing answer. You don't want to remember him. You more than having revenge, you want to forget everything about him. Yeah, that makes sense. So by not placing her a curse on him, that makes it... Yeah, it doesn't remind you that you have done something to him. It best, best to just ignore him completely. Yeah, yeah, I, d I see your point. I couldn't do that. I would go down the vicious path. Man. <clears throat> If my resentment for him took his life, that would mean he had damaged me so permanently. I was never able to get past it. Mm. Great answer. I don't want that. I want to be able to forget. I'm still shaking now. One day, I want to be able to proclaim proudly that it no longer has any control over me. Hell yeah, please. Uh, 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 uh. But I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah. Able to open her eyes. Setting aside your choice of method. You asked out of concern. And that's more than enough for me. A soft smile spread across her lips. But all it inspired in me was powerlessness. Yeah. I think the best thing you can do here is ignore revenge and fully focus in this moment and in future moments to help her heal, to help her forget, to paint over her memories by you being the one to give her wonderful new memories. She was putting on an act. Was the sentiment really more than enough? Of course not. Not when she was still trembling so much. Mm. But what was I to do? What was I unable to leave this house? And helpless against the will of the Bollingers to do? The most powerful thing of all. Be close to her. I was incapable of assuaging... Assuaging? Her pain. Wasn't I? I couldn't do anything. Could I? <laughs> Before I throw in the towel, I need to take some real time to think, yes, to stop running from the problem, to figure out a real way to give her what she wants. That's 
doesn't involve curses and angry words. There has to be something only I can do. <sighs> Giselle. Mm -hmm. I took her the hand that had been tracing her scars and slid it around her waist. Even now, her trembling showed no signs of abating. I will never. The one thing I could do hurt you again was to wrap her trembling body in my arms. <laughs> I want you here with me. All I ask of you for now is to be at my side. That is a goated line. That's the one of the best lines you could say. Yeah. <laughs> you can be scared. And you can quiver. But please, don't apologize for it. Please, don't feel bad about it. <laughs> I promise not to turn my head away from your pain. <laughs> so I ask of you, try not to keep it buried. <laughs> I have no power or influence. I don't know all the right things to say. I am a man with nothing to his name. But the one thing I do have is a heartfelt desire to do whatever I can for you. As soon as I tightened my grip around her waist, she lurched forward. Throwing her arms around me. <laughs> uh, muffled whimpers resonated against my shoulders, where she had buried her head. <laughs> Eventually, they grew into unfettered sobs. And my bedchamber was enveloped in the sound of weeping. She cried like a little child. The usually strong-willed, cheerful, optimis optimistic Giselle wailed from the depths of her soul. This past year... She had constantly been nudging me forward. It was always her leading the way. There had undoubtedly been moments where she wanted to cry like this, but couldn't. So, starting now, I was going to try and support her too. Yes, yes, thank you game. Oh, I was sure I would mess something up, as I had little experience being caring, yeah, I imagine. I would probably anger her, probably stress her out, and probably make her cry, even those are fine to an extent because they are still new memories with you. And that's the important part. They are not memories overwriting the other memories. But I had found my resolve. I had found... I had overcome my hesitation. Yes! I was sure 
I could do it. That I could create a place where she could find peace. I could surely... Giselle didn't stop crying until the sun had begun peeking over the horizon. Mm, makes sense. <sighs> I had, as I said, not looked away. Simply holding her in silence. She had a decidedly not childlike frame. But she seemed incredibly small in my arms. Yeah. She is very timid and very small right now. You can help her grow together though. We felt each other's warmth through my clothes. Between sniffles, Giselle said softly. One day, I'm certain I'll be able to, without any hesitation, be properly joined with you. And it will be wonderful. Right now, I still can't control the shaking. But eventually, I want to be able to put my hands on you too. Mm. Oh, Giselle. The affection infused in each and every word was palpable. Yeah. Sometime later, she drifted off to sleep. Exhausted. Mm, makes sense. I prayed from the bottom of my heart that at least tonight she would have pleasant dreams. <laughs> Game. Uh, we can change. Or are we still continuing? Yeah, the next morning. Oh, time to relax and rest. Oh, I was tensing my whole body during that entire scene. I'm, it's a miracle I'm not cramping. Holy. Yeah. I mean, that's just the best scene in the game. Like, yeah. Fuck me. Made me tear up three times during the same scene. <sighs> let me just sit here for a while, so let it sink in. <sighs> Man, my arms are still tingling, shaking. Much like, well, different kind of shaking from Giselle, but yeah. Oh boy, this game, why is this game so good? Why is this game so goaded? Fuck me. Oh, oh boy. I think there were like four or five things I wanted to say during that scene, but I felt like it was better to just keep going without interrupting. And now I forgot half of, of them. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I think I should start with the uh, one idea I did mention that... Uh, um, I An idea that isn't necessarily a positive one or the best one, but it could be a replacement. Obviously, we are going to go with the idea of uh, being by her side and healing her by making her forget the previous memories.
but if the physical scars are permanent throughout her whole life. Another possibility is, uh, I'm not going to spoil from which story this is from, but there was a case in another show where people had gone through slavery. They felt hor hor it was horrible tragedy. They were actually heartbroken and, and at the end of the ropes. And then there was also discrimination in the world against that race the person had to happen to be. <clears throat> so a savior of them eventually decided that the slave persons they had uh they had been marked, they had been burned, they had been uh yeah like like scars but well they had been i i forget what the actual word is but uh they they had been uh, a metal heated object had been pressed up across them making a symbol to mark them as their slave owners property or whatever horrible shit so the new sa the savior who eventually rescued them and uh helped them escape and help them recover mentally they change the slave marks, the actual engravings, engrave, engravings on them by taking another hot metal plate, but this time with a bigger and newer symbol and turning it into something else, basically turning it into a cool tattoo that they could be proud of. And then they unified that group that had been enslaved. They unified that group and they made it their own logo to fight back and resistance. Yeah. So that idea of taking a hot iron and uh, pressing a new mark over her old scars is uh, was the idea that came to my mind, which is in a way not ideal, obviously, because, you know, you inflict new pain on her and it's still a reminder that there's something beneath her, but it's still a way to physically make the previous scars, previous markings go away, make new memories instead of them in and replace them. Yeah. Man, this is gonna be need. This is gonna need so much healing. I'm, I'm so glad we were able to get this kind of scene. Like, thank you, game, for giving me a brief period of elation. Like, how do we? Like, I initially I was hesitant. I was like, is that gonna be our reason for uh, before starting this video? Is this gonna be our reason for uh, becoming estranged? and uh, getting into the future with this conflict. But no, then we actually started going through the scene and we managed to do the confession and bond emotionally and physically too. Definitely physically too. And now I'm like, now I'm even more scared. Like, what the fuck will happen to tear these two apart? I hope it's something, I don't know if my heart can take another emotional twist. I feel like I want, honestly, even though I know this game is very layered and I feel like that whatever is going to rip these two apart from each other is going to be something heavy and emotional. I honestly feel like I need it to be something simple like a a one-dimensional evil witch being evil, just separating them for the for her own fun sake. Something that I can, you know, be mad about without having to go through another emotional journey like that. <sighs> okay. Thanks, game. I'm even more scared than before. Like previously I was I obviously mentioned it a couple times in previous videos that uh I know we're going to get to the future. Okay, let's see what it is going to be. And uh, I don't like this, but uh, 
I know it's coming, but now I'm uh, now I'm honestly scared. I hope for whatever the game is about to do to me, to them, Michelle and Giselle. I'm I'm super scared. Fuck me. Is it gonna be the village? No. It might be. It better not fucking be Antonin. Please don't let it be Antonin. I mean, in a sense, yes, because he is a cartoonishly evil man. So please, I, I need something simple like that, but... Uh, it's gonna be something horrible. I'm not ready. I mean, I am ready, but I'm not ready. Yeah. Uh, one other thing that I remembered, uh, thinking about mentioning earlier, it's just a funny little com uh, comical coincidence. Uh, it was uh, before that scene started, before Giselle came back to the room at the very beginning when, when Michelle was uh, monologuing, uh, that he felt really bad, that he felt like a stone. So that's really funny because, well, you can't see it right here, but I'm currently watching on YouTube a video about Koyomi Monogatari episode one. And the title of Koyomi Monogatari episode one is Stone, <laughs> Koyomi Stone, in which he describes himself also feeling like a stone. So that was kind of humorous and it helped. Uh, bring some levity into the intro scene for me personally, but, you yeah. know. I don't know. It was really hard for me to read in their voices at some points. You guys might have heard me crack here <laughs> a few times. And then again, I don't know. I don't know how well that comes across without a camera, but, you know. I can honestly say that I felt the entire scene, not a single moment where I didn't feel emotionally super invested. <sighs> I feel like I'm about to have a headache. <laughs> well, luckily it's night and uh, I can go to sleep, so that's cool. Fuck me. I don't know, I'm just stalling here, recovering myself, trying to fa be fake and prepare myself for whatever is coming, even though I know I can't. Where are we gonna go from here? Do we get happy times with them bonding and healing? Or are we just gonna get ripped apart from the happiness very soon? I mean, we bonded for a year, and now we have fully joined together. Mm. Lovers across time and space. Okay, I was just checking if there was any, any Morgana there, but luckily not, seemingly not. Let's save and end it here. I've, I've stalled for long enough. <laughs> a bright future. There it better be. I, okay. Reading that chapter title, I'm very hopeful that the next video is. But then again, the, knowing this game, it would title the most horrible of chapters, A Bright Future. <laughs> Nervous laughter. I'm cautiously optimistic about the next video. <sighs> okay, uh, let me just end it here and uh, see you guys, I guess. Next time I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to sleep soon. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, Patreon, Alex is up to two weeks. Link down in the description. Cool. See ya.